G'day, Simon here from WP Elevation. In today's tutorial, what we're gonna show you is how to set up your WordPress care plan pricing page on your website using Elementor. Let's jump into the studio and take a look. Okay, so the first thing that we wanna take a look at is you wanna set up your care plans uh, in a spreadsheet before you get started into building the actual pricing page. So what I've got here is a simple spreadsheet where I've set up the three different plans that I'll be offering my clients. And then I've also got a, a row here for each of the inclusions for each one of the plans. I've also got yes and no's marked here so the client clearly knows what's in and also what's out of each plan as well as the pricing. So I highly recommend that you do this before you get started into building a plans page. And you can just pause the video and you can just use this as a, as a framework to help to build your plans page in a simple spreadsheet. All right, so the next thing that we wanna do is we want to install WordPress locally. Now, I've got a head start with that. I've installed WordPress uh, using local by Flywheel and I've also set up uh, Astra theme and the Astra child theme and I have that activated. And I have also installed Elementor and I've activated the licenses for those ones. So I've got a bit of a head start with this. So the next thing that I wanna do is create the page. So I go to pages and then add new. And then I'm just gonna call this one care plans and then click on edit with Elementor. All right, so now I've got up the Elementor uh, editor here. And the first thing I wanna do is create a nice big heading at the top. So I'm just gonna drag over the heading into the top section and I'm just gonna change that text to WordPress care plans. And I'm just gonna update that heading into a different font. So I'm gonna center align that one and then I'm gonna change the font to uh, something that I quite like. Uh, Libra uh, Baskerville, so quite a nice font there. And I'm just gonna change that to something nice and simple. We'll just go black. All right, so there we've got the, the heading. And the next thing I'm gonna do here is create the, the three columns for the pricing plans. So I'm gonna go into add a new section and then I'm gonna click on the three column template here. Yep, so it's created the, the pricing sections there. It's a little bit close, but we'll work on the, uh, the spacing adjustment uh, just a little bit later. All right, so coming over to the, the first section, I'm gonna click on, uh, click on that space there and I'm gonna search for uh, price table. So I'm just gonna drag that over. All right, so it's given me a pretty basic style there, but it still looks pretty good. So we're just gonna start with this uh, to build the first uh, pricing table. All right, so I'm just gonna change this pricing. So I'm gonna refer back to my spreadsheet here. So I've got the first one is 99. All right, so the pricing here is 99. And we're gonna change the name uh, of that plan is just gonna be called standard, as I've got there in my pricing table. All right, I'm just gonna delete the, the subtitle there. Don't need to have anything in there. All right, and then we're gonna add the different list items that we wanna have in this uh, particular plan. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just copy those over. So into the features section there. So just copy and paste. All right, so as I go, I also wanna make sure that I'm using, uh, I'm just gonna change that icon. I'm gonna use a check and then I'm just gonna change the icon color to green as well, just so it stands out a little bit more. All right, and I'm just gonna delete this one. Oh, change that one to green. And then what I'm, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna clone that now, so it's using the same style. And it's got that check, uh, the green tick box there that's ready to go. All right, so coming down to the section now where I've got some items that actually aren't included in this particular plan. So I wanna actually make sure that it's very clearly visible that these items aren't included because I want the client to know what they're actually saying no to, not just what they're saying yes to. I wanna make sure that they understand what's actually not included in this plan. 
So coming down to priority support is the first one that's not included in this plan here. All right, so I'm going to paste that in there. And I'm going to change the, the icon from a check to close. And I'm going to change that color over to red. I'm just going to move the slider across here to red. All right, so that's quick visual reference that that particular item is not included. So it's nice and easy for the client to see at a glance what in and what's in and what's out. And you'll be able to see that even clearer once we get the other plans in place. All right, so just getting the rest of the items in there. All right, so we want to customize this just a little bit before I duplicate this and plan out the, put the other plans in place there. So I want to get rid of that ribbon at the top that says popular. So I'm just going to go in there and turn that off. And then also I'm going to change the call to action just by clicking on that. I'm going to call it get started. And then I want to get rid of this uh, sub headline under here because I don't think that's necessary at the moment. I'm just going to keep it nice and simple for this one. All right, so that's looking pretty good. So I'm pretty happy with the way that that one looks. So now what I want to do is duplicate that for the different plans. And it'll be much easier because I've started with all the content that I can just duplicate that and just perform some minor customizations. So I can click on the duplicate icon there and then that has duplicated below. So I'm going to drag this top one across and then one more time and then drag that top one across. So I've got my three plans now and I'm going to customize the middle one uh, just with the different icons to show what's in and what's out. Go over to the features section on the side there. Come down to priority support because that one's included. We go back to check icon and then click on the green color. And then unlimited website changes is also available in this plan. So we'll go check and then green. Right, and then on the, and I'll also, I'll update the title of that one as well. So that one is called Premium. Premium. And the pricing for that one was $2.99. Right, and then the last one here, the title was Elite. And the pricing here was $4.99. All right, and we'll just customize those icons. So priority support. So with your plans, you wanna just make sure that these, these are things that you can actually offer. So if you're not comfortable offering unlimited support and you don't have your processes in place for that, it's not something that you should be offering. You wanna make sure this is gonna be profitable for you, it's gonna work for you and your business. And that can be different for everyone. So make sure you plan these out properly first uh, and make sure that it's gonna work well for your business and it's gonna add value for your clients. All right, so then we've got our three care plans uh, right there with call to action buttons, nice and easy for a client to see uh, what that looks like. We want to add a little bit more content because what frequently comes up, uh, some frequently asked questions uh, about what's included and what's not. So what I want to do is just set up a little section below and I'm just going to call that FAQs. So we're going to add a new section just there and I'm just going to drop in, uh, I'm just going to drop in a heading and we're just going to call that frequent, oops, All right, and then just like the above, uh, I'm going to just change that so it's center aligned. And then I'm going to adjust the, the font style as well. And I'll make that dark. I just want to add a little bit of spacing in there. Uh, so I'm just going to change the margin here to just 20. So I've got a bit more space. And it's just a touch too big for me. So I'm just going to actually change that to a H3 bit more suitable uh, for that page as well. Okay, so next I want to put in a two column layout and I want to be able to put in text content into these sections. So I'm going to put in, drop in the text editor there. 
and I'm going to say question number one and hit enter and then just bold that. So that's the, the title of the question would just be sitting there in bold and then the answer would be there uh, below just in the text. I'm just going to leave that sample text there and I'm just going to duplicate that. All right. So you can just follow this format and just add as many questions and answers as you need to make it as clear as possible for your clients to understand what's in and what's out with your care plans. So nice and easy. Now I think this column, uh, this section is a little bit too wide there uh, for the content. So I'm just going to adjust that and just make it a little bit smaller. All right, so I'm just going to put that at, we'll go about 900, it's looking pretty good there. So it just makes that a little bit tighter. So the text is just a little bit more readable there and it's not quite as large and as wide as those care plan options. All right, so it's looking pretty good. I'm going to add a little bit more spacing to the header at the top. So I'm going to put in again, we'll put a, a 20 pixel margin around there. All right, so it's looking great. Now I want to adjust the column spacing and I want to bring out this middle plan a little bit more because this is the one that I want my clients to sign up for. All right, so I'm going to add in this, uh, this popular ribbon, make it stand out just a touch. And then I also want to make it so that these columns are actually touching each other but this middle one is just popping out a bit more. So I'm going to set the columns gap uh, to no gap. So now they're, they're touching but there's not much of a border there. So I'm just going to add a little bit of uh, custom CSS uh, to make it nice and easy to show that that one's standing out. So I'm just going to go into the settings for that particular, uh, the pricing table there. Go over to advanced and then custom CSS. And I'm just going to paste in a little bit of custom CSS that I've got saved earlier. All right, so pasting it in there just adds a little bit of, uh, of a drop shadow. I just want to make it a touch bigger than the other ones. So I just want to make it a little bit taller. So I'm going to go into the advanced section now and into the padding. I'm just going to set the bottom padding to be 20 and the other ones I just want to leave them at zero. All right, and then one other thing that might not be set there is within your section, you have to make sure that the content position is set to middle and then it'll align it nicely uh, with the other ones just like this. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to left align the different features here because it looks a bit nicer when it's all lined up on the left. So I'm just going to click on that uh, pricing column, go into style and then go down to features. All right, and then I want to set the alignment over to the left and now I want to adjust the width. So I can just use this slider to adjust the width here. I'm just going to adjust that uh, to 70 is looking pretty good. So I'm just going to copy 70 and then click on the next one, features, oops, style, features, and then left aligned, and then 70, and then again on the last one, style, features, left aligned, and then 70. All right, so that's looking pretty good. So I'm just click on preview changes, have a look at that. All right, a little bit more spacing uh, with the headings there. So I'm just going to come back in and add that spacing in. All right, so we'll go over to advanced. I'm just going to make that, make that 40 instead. And for this one, just to make a little bit more space between the plans page and the actual FAQs, I'm just going to uh, unlink those values and just make the top 60. All right, so I'll click on preview changes again there. All right, so that's looking much better. All right, so we've got our three plans. It's quite easy to see what's in and what's out. You can clearly see that the, the premium plan in the middle is most popular and it's also uh, presented in front of the other plans, so stands out quite a lot more. Uh, frequently asked questions are looking pretty good down there. 
Uh, so there you go. That's how you put together your WordPress care plans pages uh, with Elementor into WordPress. Uh, if you like this video, please uh, give us a comment, give us a like, uh, share it with someone that you think could find this useful. And I'd love if you could subscribe and click the little bell icon and you'll be notified when new YouTube videos come out. Please let us know what you'd like to learn next by dropping a comment in the comment box below. Uh, until next time, I'm Simon Kelly. Go Elevate!